Yeah. 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 We can tag team. Them all. That was the you want tag team? We can, we can both do it together. No. <laughs> tag team. I'm going to get set up here. I tend to move around a lot. Fasten your seatbelts. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on. With Hallelujah. Me. Come on. Do y'all have any uh, instrumental, like a worship, any type of track that you can pop up just like that? If you can't, that's okay. You can pull instrumental from YouTube. You can, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, there's some good ones on there. Um, just pull up anything. I just saw something. Usually while I'm praying and worshiping, the Lord gives me a download of a battle plan. For a service, if you've never seen it that way before, and he tells me, it's in my heart, it's always, Lord, what do you want to do? It's not my agenda. It's not. It's not my word. It's not about getting my message out. I'm here for you. I'm here for the church. I'm here for Baltimore. I'm here for Maryland. I'm here for the United States of America. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. And I just want to honor. All the pastors here tonight, um, Pastor Norman, Pastor Neil, uh, Lori and David, and, and all the guest ministers as well. Because God is bringing a unity like never before to the body of Christ. I, I get the, the great privilege of traveling around a lot. You know, in itinerant ministry and traveling ministry, uh, it gets a little rough, but it's, it's very... And I get to see maybe a little bit bigger picture sometimes than you all do and maybe maybe just the average uh, Christian, you know, just the one that goes to the same church uh, all the time. But um, as he's finding that track, I just want to get a little commercial out of the way quickly. Uh, again, this is not about me. And then we're going to pray and then we're going to go with God tonight. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to go with God. We're going to go with His agenda. Um, like my sister said, I enjoy ministering in the freedom of the Spirit. Amen. I love the Word, but I also love ministering in the Spirit. Amen. And I, I preach a lot about 50-50 balance. you got to have bread and wine, bread and wine. Word and Spirit in 50-50 balance. And when you have that, you never fear about getting out of balance. Thank you, Lord. All word, no spirit. The lampstand falls over. The lampstand gives no light. All spirit, no word. It's the golden candlestick in the tabernacle of Moses. It's the church in the New Testament times. We are the golden candlestick. The fullness of all seven spirits of God in Isaiah chapter 11. Thank you, Lord. But my name's Dave Lebo. Just call me Brother Dave. I'm not big into titles. I'm title wave ministry, but I'm not big into titles, titles with a T. I am big into title waves, however, and the Lord may speak on that a little bit tonight. Um, the Lord gave me this ministry totally. The name, it's a very unusual name. If, if there's anything tonight that resonates in your spirit, I want to connect with you. I just want to, I want to be your brother. You know, you're my sister brother in Christ. I want to stay connected. Pastor Norma, uh, Lori and Dave, Pastor Neil, they've all connected with us. And through relationship, that's truly where anointings can be shared, anointings and gifts flow. When two streams come together, what happens? The river gets more powerful. Mm -hmm. That's what God is doing in this hour. To those who will receive God's fivefold ministry, just take a card if you want one. There's a business card there. There's also a ministry card. Um, I, I usually do a book table, but I didn't feel led to do that tonight. I'm just trying to go quick. Uh, there's a business card there. It has TitleWaveMen.com on it, our website. There's some other resources there. Um, we do travel to the nations. I've been to Peru four times. That was so amazing. Um, I've preached to four and five hundred in, in outside squares and plazas and it's just so amazing 
where the street is the altar, and we had the police blocking off the streets for us, mm -hmm. and the mayor would come, and the, the representatives of the government would be there, and they were all on the same team, and they're all on the same uh, page, you know, moving forward with Jesus, and uh, so it's just been so amazing. Uh, we have a mandate into 36 nations. Thank you, brother. Yeah, just, just play that a little bit there. Thank you, Lord. We're going to Dominican in, in October with another ministry uh, for 10 days. But the Lord, he showed me a picture of a cross over the Western Hemisphere. And that's 23 nations. The Lord gave me the number 36. He said, Dave, you'll set your foot on the, the soil of 36 nations. I said, Lord, wow, that sounds so big. When God calls you to do something, usually it'll be too big for you, but it's not too big for God. Amen. And it's usually something that you can't do. You can't fulfill it. I can't fulfill this. I can hardly put two sentences together. But God called me from a very young age. My brother said 16. I was baptized in the Holy Ghost at 19. I had a call placed on my life. But then sometimes with those calls, God will put you in in a place of isolation. Who can, who can relate to that? I thought I was going to go save the world, you know, at 19, but, you know, I didn't know a thing. God said, no, you're not ready yet. So there'll be a time of preparation. So I was in the pits for many years, just like a Joseph. In the pits. Sometimes we think we have to get a lot of stuff added to us, but I have learned through these years that the Lord's more about stripping away the things that we don't need. And he got me to a place where it was just me and him. I was in the pits. Nothing. Taking it all away. He took everything away from me. And I know that may be an unusual testimony. But God, what he's preparing you for, the training will be perfect. And he knows exactly what you need to go through to prepare you for a purpose. And there may be pain in that preparation. There may be a lot of pounding in that preparation. But he's getting at something. And it's to prepare us to be a vessel of his power. There's a P, another P. <laughs> a vessel of his power. No matter where you are, God is bringing His power, His anointing back to the church, to everyone where it belongs. You're not going to see the one, two preachers on platforms, up on stages. That's good, but God is doing something even bigger and greater. And part of the tight weight ministry is that there is a power that lies deep within you. That has been there all along. You just didn't go deep enough to access what's already been there. So God wants to get rid of some stuff to get access to break open the fountains of the deeps. Genesis 7 11 is in the days of Noah when the flood came. But God's not going to flood the earth again in the natural, but He's going to in the spirit. Amen. You must hear my word. This is what He is doing in this time and in this season, in our now time, in our now moment. Be encouraged tonight. God's bringing a flood of His spirit and power to these United States of America and when it floods, hear this word, when it floods, the water touches everything. Come on with me. Everything gets wet. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. There will not be anything that will be left untouched in this move of God that is coming. Mark these words. You may have heard it before. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let everything be established that the Spirit of God will be saying the same thing all over the world. He may use different voices. He may use a donkey at times. 
And he uses me sometimes. <laughs> and he uses you. He wants to use you even more and more. But God is bringing a flood of his spirit to these United States of America. Hallelujah. And when the flood comes through, this flood will touch every walk of life, every aspect of life, every household, every residence, rich or poor. It will not matter. He is bringing down every wall that man has tried to build to divide. Denominational walls are coming down, my friends. Amen. 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 Throw that word out the window. Denomination. That's not who you are. Amen. God is erasing every line that a man tries to draw. We like to divide it up <laughs> so neatly, so precisely, and we like to package it just so right. Put God in a box, but God is breaking every box that man has tried to build for thousands of years. But there's a tidal wave that's coming to these United States of America, my friends. Nothing can stop a tidal wave. We've seen the videos. We've seen Japan. We've seen Indonesia in, in past years. We've seen it in the natural. It didn't happen for a hundred years. But these are some signs, my friends. And God gave me this ministry, and I said, wow, God, that's so big. But the power of God is coming back to the church like a tidal wave that will sweep across these United States of America. Not only America, it's going to go into the nations. But the power is in you, my friends. The power of God is in you. You got to hear me. Amen. The power of God, if you're saved, the power of God is in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It's just an appetizer. I wrote a book a few years ago. The Lord gave me a download. They went along with the ministry it's called Abiding Under the Shadow. I'm not selling books. Again, like Pastor Norman said, it helps finance the ministry. But if you want some deep uh, meat to chew on for about a year, this is deep word. I, I won't deny it. I don't take credit for it. The Lord gave me a supernatural download in the midst of uh, 10 months. Had me in fasting, prayer, uh, travail, if you know what I'm talking about. Weeping, travailing in the spirit. Um, someone had said recently, they just read it, and they said, you know, Dave, that was a calling. And I never looked at it that way. They said, they, said, they said to me it was a calling and I, I do believe that and if you believe God still speaks today he uses people to do it he's still using people thank you Lord I felt to give this one away I want to give this, this, give this to someone it's based on Psalm 91.1 I'm not sure how to do this but if Psalm 91.1 means something to you that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If that means something to somebody in here, uh, I'd like to gift this to you. Is anybody in here? <laughs> Amen. They are available at our website. Also, Amazon. It, it helps us more if you go to the website. Helps send us into the nations. But God's time for America, you know, we've heard it spoken that it's coming. You hear a lot of words about it's coming. You know, God's about to do this. How many can relate to that? You see it a lot. You know, you read these words online and things. It's always God's about to. Well, God's been speaking to me more about it's now. It's not, the time for waiting is over. The preparation for many is over. 
you've been in the pits for a while, the preparation time's over. You've been in training. God's now time for you is now. God's time for America is now. It's time to step into all those words, all those prophetic words that, that you have stored up and in journals, some for 10, 20 years. Some are 20, 30 years old. But God is about to, in this now time, as you step into them, you have to step into them. I was called at the young age of 19. I was in, in training for 20 years. I said, Lord, did you forget about me? You know, when you're in the pit, you think God forgot. <laughs> and you're left all alone. And you lose friends sometimes, and you lose people, you lose relationships. And all the while, He's refining you. He's refining the gifts in you. He's refining the character in you. I didn't preach my first public sermon until I was 40. I'll be 55 this year. This year we're stepping into the Word. I'm leaving a job of 20 years. And I'm taking a step of faith and I say, Lord, here I am. It's not about me. But He's had people prepared in the fire. In the very fiery furnace of God. You've been through a lot of trials, a lot of tests. But it's your time now. It's time to step into those promises. Step into those callings of God. Step into those ministries. Don't go by what you see with your natural eyes. If sight's a problem, close your eyes. <laughs> Walk by faith, not by sight. You must live in the reality of that word. So we're going to the nations. As Pastor Norma said, God has opened up some doors for us. If you want to partner for America, if you want to partner with a ministry, get to know us. So into it, even if it's two, three dollars a month. It doesn't matter the amount. It's the heart. If you if you want to sow into revival awakening, if you want to sow into the, this everything I just said. For a flood that's coming to America. That God is pouring out His Spirit in a Joel chapter 2 reality. Not tomorrow, but today. In our here and now, upon our sons and our daughters, upon the old and the young, every race, every nation. He's just looking for a place that he can pour out all that he is. He just needs a place to pour. If we're full too much of ourselves, if we're full, no more can go in. I hear the words empty out. We must empty out as a church, as a people, as leaders of God. Empty out. Make room. We must make the room. You know, a sister was talking about getting rid of the stuff that we accumulate through the years. You know, I lived in the same residence for 32 years. You get some stuff. And we walk in this life, we pick up some stuff. And sometimes we carry it around with us. Too much. Tonight God is breaking off of us the stuff. Some we've been carrying it around with us like a ball and chain. God wants to break every chain. Break every yoke of hindrance. Every rope that would slow us down. Because it's a time to run. Run after God with all that is within you. Run! If I could shout that from the housetops. Amen. It's a time to run after God yes, with all that is within you. Praise God. Yes. We can't be slowed down. He's getting rid of the stuff. 
It's breaking off. We're going somewhere tonight. And everyone in this place is going to come with me if they want to. If you say yes to God tonight, I say, God, yes, I want everything that you have for me. I want it all, God. I want to leave everything of this world behind. I'm going to make room for more of you tonight. I'm going to open wide the gates of my heart, my mind, my ears for more of you tonight. Stand with me if you would. I want to begin to just pray over you. This is just the appetizer. We're going somewhere tonight, my friends. Tonight might be completely different of any service you've ever been in in your entire life. But different is good because every anointing should be different. Mine is different than yours. Yours is different than mine. But the body needs them all. Thank you, Lord. Every head bowed, every eye closed for a moment. In a Zephaniah 317 reality. That God is singing over his people. Even now. By the Spirit of God. All over the world, he's singing out a love song over you tonight as we stand in his presence. We're standing on holy ground. Adonai, Adonai, Avi, Papa God, Ruach Hakodesh. Spirit, holy. You are holy. God, in this place, you are holy. God, in the place that we now stand, is holy. God, corporately, we make room for you tonight. We open wide the gates of our hearts and say, God, come in. Come in. Come in and have your way in these very temples of the living God. These houses, these temples, these places that you live. And God, burn out of us all that should not belong, even now in a Malachi 3 3 reality that He is bringing His fire to the sons of Levi. Hallelujah. God, that you would burn yeah. up everything in us. I don't have to know what it is, God. Even every trace of this world, that you would burn it up, Lord. That you would burn up the rock, the hay, the stubble. Lord, even the water in the trench, for it is a Mount Carmel day in America. It is a day to choose whom we will serve. That is the cry of your heart to your ecclesia, to every church, every believer. Choose this day whom you will serve. If we choose God tonight, you will go to places in me, says the Lord, that you have never known before. For deep calls on the deep, Psalm 42, 7, take me by the hand. For I will lead you there. For have no fear. Have no fear. Even now, fear is breaking off. For do not fear the places that I have longed to take you, says the Lord. For I've been pulling at your heart for many years, some for a very long time. But you have been resisting the pull of my Holy Spirit. But I'm a gentleman tonight. I'm a sweet gentleman. And I'm the usher at the table of the Lord. And I say, ma'am, 
Ladies and gentlemen, your table is ready. And I'm ushering you into the very presence of the living God. You have a table that is ready. A table that is ready. Your table is ready now. Will you come, come, come to my table? Come and dine with me and eat with me. Oh, what is on your heart tonight? What do you need tonight? For I am that I am. What do you need tonight? What do you need tonight? I am, and I am. What is on your heart tonight? What is on your heart tonight? For come and sup with me a while. Come and dine with me. Talk with me, for I've prepared a place for you. I've prepared a place just for you. It's you and me, it's only you and me, no one else. I'm here for you on this night. Tell me all about what is on your heart. I've prepared a feast for you. Oh, let's, how much do you want? It's a buffet tonight. All you can eat. Everything that is on your heart. Fresh bread and fresh wine, just for you, just for you. Fresh bread, how much do you want tonight? Fresh bread, fresh bread, oh, and fresh wine. Oh, I've got a wine that you've never tasted before. Oh, I've got my new wine for you tonight. How much do you want tonight? How much do you want tonight? How hungry are you? I'll be your light. I'll be your everything tonight. I'll be your all in all tonight. Oh, first course, second course, third course, fourth course. How much do you want tonight? Healing is the children's bread. Healing is in the house tonight. Salvation is in the house tonight. That I will save you in every way says the Lord. Deliverance is in the house tonight. There's a new wine in the house tonight that God is pouring out in this time. I'm just looking for a place to pour. I'm just looking for a place. A place I can pour out all that I am, all that I am, all that I am, all that I am. All I'm just looking for a place. I'm just looking for that place. Can that place be you? Will that place be you?
If you say yes, Lord, yes, just lift your hands to heaven right now. You're saying it as a declaration to the Lord. I'm singing out a love song over you. How big is your cup tonight? How much do you want tonight? I'll not stop pouring out my wine. All upon you tonight. All until you say when. All until you say when. All until you say God. I've had enough. Tonight there's an unlimited wine being poured out to an open vessel. If you say yes to God tonight, there is an unlimited anointing that's going to be poured out in the house tonight. Like a sweet rain. A sweet gentleman. A sweet, sweet spirit of the living God. He is a gentleman. Hallelujah. I will meet you where you are. Hold oh, on, no judgment here. No judgment here. Hold oh, it's all by my grace tonight. Hold oh, I'm pouring out my grace tonight. Oh, supernatural. Supernatural. Supernatural grace is being poured out right now in this very moment. My friends, this is just the appetizer. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Grace to forgive yourself right now in Jesus' name. Somebody's getting freed up right now. Grace to forgive yourself. Freed up in my grace. If I throw the offense as far as the east is from the west. I remember it no more. When the accuser of the brethren brings it up, I say, what? I don't remember anymore. In Jesus' name, let the freedom of the Lord come now in Jesus' name. Freedom to forgive others and freedom to forgive yourself. Because it's been holding you back and now it's being broken in Jesus' name. The yoke is being broken in Jesus' name. Tonight you will go to depths of my spirit that you have not yet known. Have no fear, says the Lord. Fear is being broken off in Jesus' name. Do not fear the places that I long to take you tonight. You've been in the rivers of God for far too long. Tonight you're going to the oceans. Psalm 42, 7, deep calls the deep. Tonight you're going to the oceans of God. In a supernatural baptism of the Holy Ghost, where you'll be going through the Red Sea and every one of your enemies will be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. God's going to baptize this entire group in the Red Sea tonight. And every enemy will be destroyed. Glory be to God. And freedom will come on the other side. And we will be dancing by, by the time it's over, my friends. Dancing on the other side as Miriam danced. And she sang the first new song unto the Lord. She sang the new song, the first one in the Word of God. She sang to the Lord because she had something to sing about. Tonight, God's going to give you something to sing about. Hallelujah. For deliverance is now, says God. Deliverance is today. Every enemy that has been hot on your trail, that you have not been able to, to shake, tonight's the night. Hey, write it down. Ha, Roshanda. Jesus. August 
17, 2019. The day your enemy got destroyed. In the depths of the sea that they sank like mighty lead. They sank like lead. In the mighty waters. You see, it's a deep baptism. God right now is baptizing us deep again. Deep, deep, deep. It's not a one and done. To be baptized, to be filled, continuously filled with God's spirit and power every day of my life. Glory be to God. He's baptizing you now in a deep baptism. A continual baptism right now. We're going somewhere tonight. We're going to some deeper places than you've ever been before. There will be prayer tonight up here for healing, for miracles, for baptisms, for deliverances. Every limitation that you ever placed on yourself is being broken off right now in Jesus' mighty name. Every limitation that you ever put on God is being broken off right now in Jesus' mighty name. Is he who we say he is? Is he who we declare that he is? You will know him as Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee. You will know him as Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides my daily need every moment of every waking day, every sleepless night, in the quietness of the night, I will be your God. I will be your everything. For I am the I am, says the Lord. Be a sponge. Just soak this in. Be a sponge right now. It's like fresh bread. It's got to fall on good soil. The seed has to fall on good soil. The seed of the word must fall on the soil of the heart. I'm making myself known in this very room, in this very city, in a very Kairos moment, in a moment in time that will be marked in history of a day when everything began to change. Fixed in time. His Kairos time, not Kronos time. But tonight, for some, your life will begin to completely change. By the power of his word and his spirit. This ministry. Is going to deeper depths than you never ever thought possible. Pastor Norma, Pastor Neil, Pastor Lori, Pastor David, all the leaders of this house. This word is for you. Just in a moment, I don't plan any of this. This is God's time. This is His agenda. Hear the word of the Lord on this night. For you've been faithful with the little things. And in so doing, you have automatically stepped into a kingdom dynamic that has prepared you for the more. You have been through the fires of God through the pits, through the training, through the pounding, through the, through the pain of it all. This is your now time. Hear this word. This is your now day. No more waiting. 
No more it's about to happen. No more it's going to be. It is now. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Thank In this very divine Kairos moment of time, receive this word. From this day on, you'll not measure the days of your calendar by Kronos time. You'll measure it by my Kairos time. Divine opportune moments with God. Throw your watch away. Throw the years away. Throw your calendars away. Hallelujah. For I'm extending the years of your life. I'm accelerating time for you. That it is harvest time. Glory be to God. It is harvest time. Thank you. The harvest is heavy and the harvest it is great. But you'll not be overwhelmed with the greatness of this challenge. Because the seeds that I've planted in you is not for one church. But a thousand upon a thousand churches. And it's not only for a region, it's for a nation. And I see a wheel within wheels within wheels that you'll be a hub of an apostolic center and you'll be sending, receiving and sending and mm -hmm. ministries will come in and go out. Jesus. Be edified. Be lifted up. Be encouraged. Be planted in the Word. Hallelujah. Hey, Roshanda. In the fullness of time. In the fullness of my spirit. Isaiah 11. You'll illuminate to be illuminated in the seven lamps of God, the seven spirits of God. In the fullness of my spirit, says the Lord. In the fullness of time and the fullness of my light and the fullness of my oil will be in never ending supply. My friends, hear this word, you'll never run out. Because on this day, you have stepped in to the original source. A never-ending source, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Not a man's anointing, but God's anointing. And what's on the Son is on the sons and on the daughters of this hour. That you'll raise up sons and daughters. In this time, you'll be spiritual parents. You'll raise up young and old. Some. In their 90s, they'll be spiritual children. You'll raise up three-year-olds to be spiritual children. They'll be baptized in the Holy Ghost in this place. Young and old, rich and poor, every nation, every race. I'm no respecter of persons, but generals will be raised up in this house. Leaders, apostolic leaders who will know my governmental authority who will know my governmental order for you've been faithful with the little things get ready for the deluge of the more I pick my words very carefully God is specifically saying a deluge of the more there will be so much Flowing out of this place, you will say, surely it must be only God. Only God. Only God. People will line up outside this place to get into my presence, says the Lord, to get what they need. Because Jehovah Rapha will be in the house. The I am that I am is in the house. The very presence, the Shekinah, glory of God will fill this temple, this house, and every single little temples, you and I will be filled 
with the very presence of the living God. Glory be to God. The glory tonight, my friends, is even beginning to descend down upon in this place because when you receive the messenger in the name of the greatest messenger of all, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, you receive the word, the message that he's carrying. Amen, amen. And in great honor, you have honored God in years past. He's about to honor you before thousands upon thousands. Your life stream out of this place. It'll get bigger in expanse, in technology. You'll have the people, don't worry. Don't have an anxious thought. Don't have one anxious thought. Thank you, thank you. Because I'm going to send the people. I'm going to send the techies. I'm going to send the worshipers. I'm going to send the minstrels. I'm seeing this in the spirit. You will welcome the minstrels in this house. Hear this word. The prophetic minstrels, the ones that have been shunned in other places, but you'll receive them and they'll sing the new song unto the Lord 24-7. They'll become the 24-7 worshipers in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. You'll have extended burns here where they do four or five hour burns. You'll teach people the new song, the new sound. you release them in their anointings. I see young, young and old alike playing saxophones for Jesus, playing clarinets for Jesus, playing electric guitars for Jesus. Say, oh brother, no, you can't play drums in this place. Oh yeah, you can. You're gonna play drums for Jesus. But you'll identify the gift and you'll help them grow and they will flourish. In the garden of the Lord, Isaiah 5 7, they will grow and flourish. In the garden of the Lord, this will be a garden of my delight. Where people will be planted by my hand supernaturally and they will flourish right where they're planted in the perfect soil, perfect temperature, perfect humidity, perfect atmosphere. This place will flourish and be a garden of the Lord. Not only for a region, but for a nation. Just receive that word. God has me honor the house many times where I go. It's honor. God is honoring. Honor your leadership. Honor your pastors. Fivefold ministers. Honor them. They've been through a lot. They've been through the fire. You don't know the price that one pays for the call. You don't know the price one pays for the anointing that they carry. I want to flow out of this place right here. You can get comfortable. You may be seated. services, the worship and the word don't have a break. The worship goes on long after the songs are over because you are the worship. You are the 24-7 worship team in the house of the Lord. You are the song of the Lord. Everything you do is a worship unto Him. Amen. Your career Amen. is a worship unto God. What you do, your hobbies, is a worship unto the Lord. We give it all to Him. Yes. Amen. 
Worship's not just five songs on Sunday. Right. Amen. To sing the new song is not necessarily the songs that we know and the ones that have been written. For you're going to write a new song to the Lord. In your, in your worship time, this is just by the Spirit of God, this is for somebody in here. If you can catch this and implement it in your life, your walk with God will go into exponential dimensions that you've never imagined. But that you are the worship team of the Lord 24-7. Praise is your frontline defense. <laughs> against everything. Amen. King Jehoshaphat, we know the story, he sent out who first? Worshippers. The worshiper. When the enemy comes in, what does he try to get, get from you? What does he try to steal from you? Your joy. your joy, your song, your praise, your worship. You can't hardly muster it up. For some in here, he may have stole your song. He may have stole your joy. That's the time to worship. That's the time to get alone with God. Worship's not just a singing a pretty song. Worship is warfare. Worship is a weapon. We got to change our thinking. It's not just singing pretty songs. Glory be to God. It is a weapon. It is your weapon. Thank you, Lord. Enemy comes, tries to take it away from you. You have one bad day, followed by a second bad day, followed by the third bad day. Pretty soon by the fourth bad day. I've been there. I know. You can't hardly muster it up. But you'll begin to sing in your own strength. Because why? It's a sacrifice of praise. It's a sacrifice of praise. In the moments that you can't do it, in the moment that you can't stir it up, it's the sacrifice because it's not for me it's for him it's all about him and your ministry to him must always be first we try so much because we want to reach the world for Jesus and then we suffer burnout because we're doing it in our own strength. And we forgot our ministry first and foremost is to Him. 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 365 days a year that I may dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Psalm 91. Amen. God spoke to me many years ago when I wrote the revelation. He said, Brother Dave, you got to live it before you can preach it. So I wrote it down, but he gave me the revelation. Well, years ago, I wasn't walking yet, and he said, Dave, you will walk in the reality of this revelation because you have to live it before you can ever speak it. 24-7 that you will walk by my spirit, says the Lord. Every waking moment, every sleeping moment that you'll live with God and be aware of his presence. 24-7 seven days a week 365 days a year, my friends. This is the place. 
that God is beckoning to us to come to. It is possible to live in the secret place of the Most High. 24-7. Not go in one day a week. Peek in. Have a great visitation. And then come back out. And say, God, wow. That was awesome. The place that he's calling us to is to come in behind the veil and in that very presence of his Shekinah glory, everything else in us is burned to a crisp. It gets completely incinerated so that it's never there anymore. Sometimes we hang on to stuff and we come out and we still got it. And that little bit of trace is still hanging on. And for some reason, we, we tend to like these things and we, we, we coddle them. Those are for a word, you know? We hang on to them. Sometimes to defend ourselves or, you know, think that we're stronger by carrying that. God says, let it go, let it go. You don't need it where you're going. Everything in this world, you don't need it where you're going. All you need is Him. He's beckoning to us to come in behind the veil, to live in His place of His glory, the place of His presence 24 7. Where everything in us gets completely burned up. Because you are the sacrifice. Remember? We are the sacrifice of praise. But we forget you are the fuel for the fire. Be the fuel. He'll supply the fire. Be the fuel. He's just looking for one. Will you be the fuel? Will you be the place that revival starts in your home, in your neighborhood, in your church, in your region, in your state? Will you be the one where a fire can fall? Revival begins right here with each and every one. And guess what? He only needs one to set a nation on fire. It's just, do you want to be part? Because there's a forest fire coming, my friends, to America. There's a forest fire coming to America. I'm going to say it one more time. There's a forest fire coming to America. And God's fire is falling in unusual places. Places that we would not expect. Catholic cathedrals will be filled with my presence. I will not read the marquee. It will not matter the words. Because I'm coming in even where a six-year-old child has invited me. I'm crashing in on the scene. Children will be baptized in the Holy Ghost. In this time, in this season, it will be marked as a season of my youth being filled with my power. Because with great purity comes great power. Amen. With great purity comes great power. Pride comes before the fall. When we think we know it all, seen it all, been there, done that, Got the t-shirt, Lord. Create in me a clean heart, oh God. Do our spirit within me. Oh, cast me not away from your presence, 
It is all about Him. It's not about me. I didn't get to the word I had, but that's okay. I was telling my sister that I come prepared. <laughs> I usually have 10 sermons locked and loaded inside. But ultimately, I will never usurp His power. The King of Kings is in the house. Jesus is in the house. It is His time, His place, His service. He must do with it what He wants to do. Even now, if you could stand with me for a moment. This is about you tonight. It's about God, but it's about you. And your life is so concerned about where you are. Every, every detail of it. If you heard any part of that word tonight, every service is different. It's not about my great sermons or words. It's God pouring out His Spirit in these days, my friends. And like He said in the beginning, He's looking for places to pour. So even now, Pastor Norma, we're good. Are we good? Um, everything's been done. So we're good to go. I want to go into prophetic uh, personal ministry right now. It says the Lord leads. He was looking for a place to pour. You're the cup of the Lord. And in his invitation earlier, he said, I'm looking for a place to pour. That's all I need. We need to make room. And I know I'm in good company here tonight. But we all, I think, want more of God. We want to make room for Him. We want to let go of those things in this world that we so easily hang on to. We just need to be reminded to say, hey, let it go. Give it to God. And as we make room now, He can. Pour out more of who He is. And you make room for Him. You see, part of the problem with the American church, and, the, and I can speak about some nations, but I'm sure it's true globally. The flesh creeps in and we're too full of ourselves. We get just too full of our stuff. And God's saying, no, empty out. You don't need that where you're going. You don't need that. So tonight's about not an adding to, but a taking away from and an emptying out. And going into a deeper place than you've ever gone before. If you are with me tonight, you'll go in behind the veil. Into the third dimension of the tabernacle of Moses. Even the tabernacle of David. Where there was no veil. In Amos 9-11. That God is restoring the tabernacle of David in this hour. There was no veil. God is invading every aspect of life, my friends, for where you will be the carriers of my glory. Arks of my covenant, says the Lord. A New Testament ark of my covenant. You are my vessels of gold refined in the fire to be filled With all that I am. That about sums it up. Amen. All that He is, the I am, that I am, is here tonight to pour out in your life. Healing is the children's bread. New wines to be poured out in your life if you're thirsty for a new wine. Maybe you need it for your ministry. God has me minister to ministers in an apostolic way wherever I go. I speak into ministers wherever I go. It's such a high calling. I, I humbly say those very words.
to speak life into them too. Because they need ministry too. Thank you, Jesus. If you're a minister in here, there's an anointing in your life that maybe you haven't tapped into yet. That the great apothecary has been mixing it in the heavens every time you pray. He's mixing. Every time you fast, he's mixing. But he will pour it out in his governmental order in a service like this. Remember, little King David went to Samuel. He had to go to Samuel. And the anointing was poured out. Even now, right now. Specifically, if you're a minister in here, Specifically, you feel a tug on your heart. That you need the infilling of a new wine such as you have not yet tasted. If that's you, I want you to come forward. I want you to come for prayer. I want you to come with open heart, open mind, open ears. Because God is meeting you tonight right where you are. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm pouring in my wine. Oh, don't be shy tonight. You're in good company. You're among family here. You're among family here. Oh, Oh, I'm poor. 